Pauli Day, it marks um, a court case, a Supreme Court win for Métis people in Canada. And Pauli is actually the name of a family, a Métis family who were living in Sault Ste. Marie. And uh, back in 1993, uh, Rod Pally and Steve Pally, a father and son, were out hunting. So just as Métis people have done for hundreds of years, uh, in particular in the fall, so hunting and uh, harvesting for, um, for their foods over the winter time. And so the father and son were out, uh, they did shoot a moose, and just as they had done many, many years prior, uh, and their ancestors had done, they tagged the moose, indicating that they were harvesting the meat for winter, identifying themselves as Métis, and exercising their rights to harvest and to hunt. A week after, um, they had uh, tagged that moose and harvested its meat, they were actually charged uh, with illegal um, possession of this animal and um, poaching, which is against the law, it's a crime. And that um, charge against them was actually a violation of Métis rights that are enshrined within the Canadian Constitution of 1982. So, Rod Pally uh, uh, decided, along with the Métis Nation of Ontario, to really challenge um, these violation of rights within the court. And it took 10 years of going through the courts uh, to actually to have those rights recognized by the Supreme Court of Canada. And that win isn't just saying, you know, he had a right to hunt. That win really was acknowledgement that Métis people have inherent rights as Indigenous peoples. And that win, that successful win within the Supreme Court of Canada, really led to uh, many more acknowledgements of rights of Métis people. And most recently in 2019, Métis Nation of Ontario signed a self-governing agreement. Um, and so again, it was another example of uh, rights as Indigenous peoples and that we do in fact have a very unique culture and identity um, that again, has those very inherent rights as Indigenous peoples.